Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief, trusted, tested, true. Good morning, everybody. I have the privilege of being able to report to you semi-live from Husker Harvest Days in Grand Island, Nebraska. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you know that this is Grant and I's home show. I've been attending this farm show essentially since I was born and Grant has too. So for all we know, we have been like at this show at the exact same time before we even knew each other. I know we've been married for a couple years now and we've been attending this show together. Um, but this show is really, really special because it's close to us. Um, we've been attending for a really long time. Um, and it's also special for some certain vendors because Grand Island just so happens to be the home of where case combines are made and assembled. So that's pretty cool. That's why I figured I would start this show video out at the case booth. So as you can tell, there's no people walking behind me, but there's definitely lots of activity. And that is because the show starts tomorrow. So Grant and I are here before everybody else, before the big crowds, because I wanted the chance to show you guys before anybody else is here walking around. And even though this show is really close to Farm Progress Show, it's actually put on by the same company, um, the displays look a little bit different and there's different people at this show. And it's special because it's in Nebraska. Look at this. I already getting recognized. Fans already. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I wish that I could take all of you guys with me to the show in person. I do get to meet a lot of people at these shows. That's why I do them. But I do also film these shows because I know that not everyone is able to attend farm shows or have them in their area. And there is just a really special vibe around these places. So that I hope Grant and I can convey that through the screen to you guys. And look what's behind me. Do you remember last farm show? Just a couple weeks ago in Decatur, Illinois, Grant and I got the opportunity to try one of these things out for ourselves. And it was pretty cool. I don't know, Grant. I know Case is local. I know we have a lot of John Deere stuff, but what we might we, just have to try What would we use that thing out. for? I have no I idea. I have no idea what we'd use it for. We could do like a uh, run McDonald's. Maybe you could take me on a date. Take this thing to the drive through We could I probably drive through McDonald's. Have you guys thing. seen the price of tractors? I think some girls would think that like maybe Lamborghinis or fancy sports cars would be, you know, really fancy to go on dates on. But uh, tractors are pretty expensive, and in my opinion, they look pretty cool. I'd go on a date in that thing. Hey, uh, Cole the Corn Star, I think I found what you need on your farm. Oh, this thing is pretty. What do you guys think? So I have a little bit of a secret to tell you guys, or I guess the secret has kind of been out because people sent videos of this to me as it was traveling. We are getting a new fuel trailer from Stellar. So uh, I can't even call it our old fuel trailer because we've only had it for about a year, maybe a year and a half. But what they're upgrading us to is so cool. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a walk around before it's just swarmed with people checking it out. So we have some upgraded decals on it. They're in blue this time with a little farm scene, which I think is really cute. We have some above fender storage. You open this up. Pretty nice, right? Okay, and then we're also going to have storage in the nose of this trailer. You come right here. This is an open compartment, which I imagine honestly putting like a trash can or something right here. I kind of want to put a torch up there, which I know fuel trailers and torches don't mix, but... Electric jack. Do you guys know how excited I am for this? No more cranking when this thing is full and so heavy. Look at all the lights on it, too. There is improved drawer design here. Check this out. And you are right. There is lights literally everywhere on this thing. All our tools and air chucks. We can just spec this thing out with tools. Now, the moment of truth. Oh, check this out. Pretty nice, right? So we actually have these reels mounted up and then we also have 
the nozzles mounted up, which I really, really like. Um, and this thing comes with the air compressor in, which I also like as well. Um, but I just really think this is going to be a huge upgrade from the fuel trailer we have. And I'm excited to get this on the farm and use it all harvest long. Now listen, this is a question Grant and I get a lot. No, we do not have any livestock. We're strictly a row crop operation in Nebraska, hence the sweatshirt. We get that question more often than you would think. But the beauty of this trailer is making me rethink the whole cow thing, Grant. Do you want some cows to put in there? I think we need I don't, even, I don't even know if I'd want the cows to put in it. I think I just want the trailer because it looks so pretty. <laughs> Maybe it's just shiny. Let's go, let's go and look inside a cattle truck that's Stainless never, steel and black powder coat. It's never had cows in it. Never had anything in it. I don't think there's been, hardly been humans in this thing. Oh yeah, this is pretty nice. It's pretty big in here. If you guys have never been inside of a, oh, there's lights, look. There's little lights all around the edge, inside here. If you guys have never been inside any kind of trailer like this, they are extremely well engineered. There's lots of little different compartments, like animals don't just roam around everywhere. There's little compartments to keep them safe from moving around. And this thing is so clean right now and so pretty. Let's go down the belly. I, uh, I think if we were to get a trailer like this, Grant, we would probably need to get a cooler looking semi truck. Hint, hint, wink, wink, to you pull You want a cool with. semi truck? So bad. I think I should probably get a harvest season of semi truck driving under my belt before we get a new truck, just in case anything would be to happen. I don't, I have no intention. Oh, look, I can stand up straight in here. I have no intention of. This looks like a uh, 90s music video background set in here. Really? <laughs> yes. Do I look cool? Yeah. I have no intention of crashing our semi or hurting it in any way, but maybe I should get a season of driving it under my belt before we upgrade to the really cool semi. Where are you in there? Uh, this thing looks familiar. Okay, now it's it's way cleaner here. Um, I might need to wash mine, but here is our lawnmower, guys. You could come sit on our lawnmower. This thing, ooh, ooh, Grant, hold on, hold on. Now we have, we're covered in the lawnmower department, but how about this snow brush? Can you imagine? No, 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 power broom. I'm not thinking snow. Spilled corn on the pit? Spilled corn. Now that's interesting. Off, like the approach to the shop, like after you power wash something on there, you bring this bad boy out. Like we had the little tiny, you know, Milwaukee one that's about this big around. But that thing. Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's hard. That's durable right there. You like this? Okay, cool. we might we might have to talk to Toro about this. Oh, Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you, that grass might look better than our grass, Grant. How did they do that? Oh. This is Chief. Like, you see their ad run before our videos. Nebraska company. They make houses, shops, grain bins. They do it all. You can go to Chief and all of their different sectors, and you can create, like, the dream farmstead. Look at this. They have the house, the buildings, the shops, the trucks to transport it all. Oh, it's so beautiful. They need to start a lawn division. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. This is what Grant's dreams are made out of. Dump trailers in pretty colors. Are you kidding me? Grant's in heaven. Describe to me your dream trailer, Grant. Um, honestly, probably like this, but a little longer. With the... So I put skid steer attachments on that doesn't tilt. Yeah, or that deck over one that's full tilt over there. You like that? Maybe that's a gooseneck. Yeah. I like trailers a lot. No way. Look at it, you guys. It's our tractor. So we're here at the Goodyear 
Titan Booth slash Graham Tire, which is our local tire outfitter. And they were kind enough to put new shoes on our baby girl and then also bring her to the show. So we'll be at this booth for a couple days and, you know, talking with people, saying hi, and people are going to have the opportunity to actually see the tractor that Grant and I bought. And I just think that's pretty cool. It is so surreal seeing this off the farm. Like, she's taking a little vacation. It's kind of fun. I should have washed it. I thought it was pretty clean when it left, but compared to all the other stuff you're out here, it's... It looked, I mean, so the thing is, Grant, we use this tractor. This thing has over 5,000 hours. Well, 5,000 hours on it. Like, this thing has put like, some serious work in. Look at all the scratches. Oh, it's even got the missing lever still. Well, now, what do we have here? Is it any coincidence that Grant stopped the golf cart right in front of a pretty colored clean oh dumping thing. trailer oh boy the lights the lights make all the difference for me actually pull up to that semi here if you would Ooh. something that we really 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 appreciate about husker harvest days is that there's no contracted food sponsor for the show so anytime you buy food here like any kinds of meals they have all different booths set up and every food booth supports a different local school. And I just think that's really, really cool. So while on one hand, farm shows are for seeing all that's new with ag and technology and new tractors and things that are coming out, it is also a chance to celebrate the history and where farming has come from and where it's gone to now. We see a lot of old tractors at farm shows, but we rarely see old combines. And there's one here right now. I feel like old combines always end up in combine demolition derbies or like someone pulled the motor out to put in a tractor or something. So they usually get destroyed or you just don't ever see them. I think Farmall is celebrating like a hundred years or something this year. Look at the fat tires on these things. Oh my goodness, great. It's wood. Yeah. It's not even metal. That is wood. They need to know how to make things uh, cheap and reliable back in the day. This is a really, really old John Deere. It was actually owned by our neighbor. I had no idea he had this. I just recognized the name. But 1936, look, steel wheels. That is insane. We're going to have to go over and visit with him about this tractor. I'm sure that doesn't mean WD-40, but I think that's probably the model number. But... Oh, that's it. Thick? <laughs> uh, actually, a diesel tank. Uh, yeah. I, I believe. There really is something for everyone at farm shows. So Grant and Gage are actually having the opportunity to test out an electric ranger. It's silent. The only thing you can hear is the rocks moving into the tires. It's so weird. Polaris put together this super cool driving course. My goodness, it's just like a Tesla, like immediate throttle response. That is so cool. See him take the water puddle. So it is electric, but it has the same towing and hauling capacities as a regular Ranger. Laura, this thing is so quiet. You like it? This thing is awesome. It's like a golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun that Grant and Gage news together. 140 foot pounds of torque on this thing. Crawls like a beast and regens on the way down. Okay, first thoughts, immediate thoughts after driving. Uh, this is way better than a golf cart. Do you think the golf cart would let me take this out? So now what would you say to someone who's a little bit skeptical about having electric vehicles on a farm? Um, so the one we're in has a 45 mile range and that camel one has an 85 mile range, which when we're irrigating, what, 
That's probably that's, about the distance you'd go, right? Yeah. If I'm driving more than 85 miles in a day in a Ranger, I'm working too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys look pretty good in it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Definitely an alternative. I think it's pretty cool. The gauges, they're all different. I like the blue. The That's blue? pretty cool. And this, uh, this, I don't even want to say it, a gear shifter, but what so am I looking like, at here? So it's in park right now. There's neutral. And then, so when you're in high, like you can go high and then I'm in reverse right now. And then to go forward, you just hit a button. You just press that little button. Very interesting. And then there's low and then there's forward and reverse and low. Huh. So this thing has a radiator back there, but it's really just to keep the battery cold or warm, depending on the temperature, which I think is really cool. And here it goes. It's so quiet. Silently, it goes back to its parking spot. Very interesting. Gen 5 monitor the first time I'm seeing this. Holy cow. Probably the first time for a lot of people seeing it. Yeah, wow. That has a full-on iPad right there. <laughs> Laura Farms. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from Aurora area. Oh, wow. Wow. Very cool. What brought you out to the show today? Oh, uh, just to see my tractor. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> it doesn't look that great compared to everybody else. I, maybe it's just because I'm looking. Plug well, yours. I'm looking across at this 8R duels on it. Right across the road. <laughs> I don't like cameras. He's, he's camera shy. You can just keep the keep the camera on me. Uh, but I have to say, I'm getting a little jealous looking across the road. Ours might need a little work. Okay, how old are you? Can you hold up how many you are? That many? Three or four? Four years old? What about you? Nine? Oh my goodness. I love your shirts. I feel like I'm a little bit biased. But this let me get some dirt on you too, Oh, okay. I don't know what happened. Oh, man. So I've got a message to myself before you guys? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, this is the equipment that they do the actual demos with here. It's all sitting out here so farmers can come, poke around for themselves, and see the equipment in action. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that at every farm show I go to, Grant and I always find a way to get on top of Chief's grain bin. This one is their brand new one, and the view was spectacular. You can see from the parking lot how full it is. There were so many people there. Getting an above view of the show I think is super cool because it really gives you some perspective, and it's fun to spot all of the booths and people walking down below. It makes it look so small. It was a little bit windy, and uh, I was definitely holding on to the railing the entire time we were up here because you are so high up off the ground. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Chief for always letting me get on top of the grain bin. I appreciate it, it means a lot. Last day of the show, everything's getting wrapped up, put on trailers, going back to their homes, including our tractor. Overall, the show was a total success. I think everybody loved seeing our tractor at the show, but it is time for the old girl to head home. Take a pivot tire. We need one. Yeah, the the Graham tire and uh, Titan tire people left the booth unattended. It looks like these tires are just kind of up for grabs. So maybe if we just kind of pop it on the front there and yeah, we'll, we'll lift it up, ready? it would make the perfect. Yeah, boy. Hey, look at that. Uh, sorry, Scott and Kim. We're taking the pivot tire home. <laughs> Back to the farm she goes.
See you next year, Husker Harvest Days. So I'm bringing the tractor home from Husker Harvest Days. Had a really fun time at that. Um, so, I got kind of hungry. That's a truck stop. And I'm gonna stop and get food in a tractor at a truck stop that's meant for trucks. So change of plans. Um, this little gas station I stopped at didn't really have what I was looking for. Kind of want a pizza. Yeah, they had no pizza. So there's a bigger gas station over here. Might as well come over here and get some food. Paul, classic Snutter Butter. This thing doesn't have any pizza still. And a code red. It's not every day you see a tractor at a truck stop, but we high rollers, we take up four stalls, you know. As one should, you know, long drive, might as well make the most of it. Holy cow, we finally made it. Back to the yard. Just gotta back it up to the grain cart now. Get ready for harvest. You know. And I can go home. Spent, started at 7.30. Yeah. Just gotta back it up to the grain cart and call her a day.